Hi, this is Abid Hussain Malik from Abid Financial. Your waiting time is over. Today, I shall discuss with you QuickBooks Online Level 1 Certification Exam. I would like to introduce some changes which have been made in a new policy. Uh, the first of all, the QuickBooks Online has changed the name of our QuickBooks Online Certification is replaced by a new name Level 1 and Advanced QuickBooks Online Certification is replaced by Level 2. And uh, third one is introduced certification introduced that is QuickBooks Bookkeeper Intuit. So these are the three different QuickBooks certifications, and these are categorized under the fundamental certification. And the, there are three others certification which are special categorized in a specialized tab. So those are three certification: QuickBooks Online Payroll and uh, QuickBooks Desktop and the QuickBooks Enterprise Certification. So basically QuickBooks is offering six certification for bookkeepers or accountant of QuickBooks Online users. Okay, I would like to uh, discuss about the exam. The exam pattern has been totally changed. The, there is a new display of the study material. You need to watch the videos, you need to open the toggles, you need to open the different arrows to watch your study, uh, the materials. Uh, basically, uh, I would like to uh, discuss the level one examination pattern. There are five sections in our level one pattern, and uh, section one is called getting started, and uh, there would be five questions. And uh, in the section two, uh, the name is sales and customers, and there would be 15 questions you need to answer. So in the section three, expenses and vendors, you need to give the answers of 10 questions. Section four, relating to the banking, and you need to answer the 15 questions and the last section is section 5 that's name period end there would be eight questions you need to answer them correctly okay one sure, uh, thing you should take in mind uh, you need to score 80 percent in each section and uh, each section you may attempt three times if you could not pass any uh, section then your account shall be locked for uh, 60 days after 60 days you shall be able to uh, retake your test now uh, the exam pattern is a bit different from the previous one the previously uh, you need to open the section one answer them review the section review the answers and uh, then you submit and uh, after that you do for section two three four five and at the end you need to submit uh, each question but, but uh, now there is uh, some difference uh, you uh, need to uh, first of all the study material self-based basis and then you need to uh, click the answer and submit and there is no review policy you cannot review them and change your answer once you have selected and submitted it's final so this is a uh, basic difference in the new section uh, for the exam rules i would like to uh, some uh, different changes has been made for the exam rules uh, you can at, uh, get the certification and there are two methods the first method is uh, a direct method and the second method is self-paced method in the direct method you will just enroll yourself in a, a hub tab uh, for example level one when you click this one and there is a, uh, on the left side there is a toggle option uh, exam directly you will just select it and you will go to direct take the exam so this is a direct way if you are experienced bookkeeper accountant and you have already done the certification so it's very suitable for you if you are a new bookkeeper or accountant and you want also learn about the QuickBooks, then uh, you shall choose second method. The second method is self-paced method. In the self-paced method, first of all, you shall enroll yourself in a hub tab for any certification like a level one, level two, or into bookkeepers. And when you select uh, this one, and you will be direct to the next uh, tab that is certification, where you shall see the uh, study material for relevant certification. And then there would be a uh, relevant section for example level one you shall uh, see your first section of getting started you shall open this one and uh, start learning each and everything each and every line you cannot miss anything then you shall complete your all data at the end you then it will enable you to take the exam if you have missed anything you will not be able to take or start your exam so these are the two different ways to get the certifications okay you should keep in mind uh, if you want to take the exam of level two so before this you need to pass level one in the previous system there was a no any criteria or eligibility criteria for the level two you may directly take your exam to the level one but now it has changes has been made so first you need to pass the level one and then you shall be eligible to take the exam of level two so 
this was some changes i have discussed with you and uh, uh, if you like my videos please subscribe my channel abit financials and if you want to learn about the quickbooks online whole course this is also available in my uh, youtube channel and uh, if you have any questions and you want to know about the accounting bookkeeping or uh, you have any question you may uh, let me know at my email address that is given here and you may also contact me at my whatsapp number i shall be here to reply as soon as possible